Agent, a round of applause, please. And whenever you're ready, you can go ahead. Have you ever played an instrument before? Did you know that when you play an instrument, there are fireworks going on in your brain? Playing and listening music help, help to be more active on your brain. So today I'm going to talk about what is going on when we listen to music. And why does music so active? And uh, is the other artists and musicians have different brain? So what is going on when you listen to music? Some neuroscientists have found difference between reading a book and listening to music. When people are just reading a book, only one specific part of our brain works. <coughs> like, only, um, like this part only works. And when people are listening to music, uh, the whole part of our brain works together at the same time. Like this. So, <clears throat> so Thomas Edison, who invented light bulb, uh, played violin before he play, before he solved any math problem to release his both right and left brain. And there's also difference between listening and playing music. So a film, how playing an instrument benefits on your brain, says it turns out that while listening to music engages the brain in some pretty interesting activities. Playing music is the brain's equivalent of a full body workout. So actually, when we have to play an instrument, visual, auditory, and motor skills have to be active at the same time. And the biggest difference between listening and playing is playing requires the more elaborate exercise skills. And these exercise skills excite both right and left brain and require linguistic and mathematical accuracy. So it increases volume and acti acti activity of our brain. Then why is it so active when we play uh, listen music? Typing along involves the cerebral timing circuit, and performing music involves both planning and motor circuit, and reading the music involves the visual cortex. If the music has relaxed, then the language centers are active, and emotions involved in the primitive brain, including amygdala. At this point, Altman has said, just as there's no single language center, there's no single music center. An enormous number of neuronal connections means different sections of the brain work together. And also, Colin has said, most recently, Coase has suggested that the brain, human brain, particularly in an early age, does not treat language and music as a strict, separate domain, but rather treats language as a special case of music. When I get to know this information, I thought that musicians have smarter brain than the other artists. So musicians possess advanced skills in both long, short memory and memory storage and recovery. <coughs> Rehearsers help improve memory pathways in the brain, and musicians picture and narrative to link memory. So they attach multiple tasks to a single memory and which is conceptual, emotional, and contextual text. This is considerably enhances memory storage and recovery. Also, artists and aesthetics is expect of learning to play an instrument are different than any other study, including arts. So it means the ability to play an instrument is not only for people who are already developed their brain, but a particular ability is developed after the playing instrument. So in conclusion, playing and listening help to be more active and creative on our brain. Uh, when we actually have to play an instrument, multiple parts of our brain will work together as, as we are tapping, per, performing, and reading the music. And this process helps our brain to do more accurate tasks in a faster and creative way with our life's problems. And this is not only for genius musicians, uh, but also for who just started their music uh, instrument. And so listening music has benefits on our brain, and playing is even better. Thank you. Thank you very much. Give a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.